woken up um, and it's Mother's Day. Um, so my kids have asked me to come down. Look, they have made me pancake breakfast. Oh, with some cream and Nutella. Look, I got uh, cards and beautiful flowers and a gorgeous breakfast. It's time for a little bit of exercise before I start cooking. And today I've decided <laughs> to use some chickpeas um, <laughs> as weights uh, for my exercise. Right, so the dish I'm cooking, I really don't have a name for it because right now I am just going and looking what's in my cupboard, trying to think of something delicious to cook for the family. So um, I'm kind of making like a shakshuka, um, but with um, lots of additional things. Uh, so I'm going to use, I've got some tin chickpeas, some tin tomatoes, I've got some peppers that I could use. Um, so I'm putting everything to good use. Um, I'm going to start with two um, onions and thinly slice it. Next, I am going to thinly slice two red peppers as well. I'm starting with a hot pan and two tablespoons of sunflower or rapeseed oil and to this I'm going to add one teaspoon and a half of cumin seeds and let them sizzle. And when they start to sizzle up we are going to throw in the sliced onion. Now I'm going to cook this um, for five to six minutes just as it starts to get any color um, they soften up and start to get some color um, I'm going to use one large potato um, and I'm not actually going to chop uh, peel it so um, just using the skin on I'm going to chop it into really small pieces So the onions have started to get a bit of color here and now I'm going to add uh, the red peppers and also some garlic. Now I'm going to grate two of these garlic cloves into the mix. So the garlic's in, I'm going to cook this for a couple of seconds actually that's it mix it up and now I'm going to add our chopped potatoes mix it up I'm going to use one uh, tin of chickpeas and very quickly drain them and rinse them and um, these will go straight into the potato mix with um, a tin of chopped tomatoes as well mix it up Now I'm going to add some spices. This needs a good amount of um, ground cumin so I would say 
um, two teaspoons of actually make it three teaspoons of ground cumin um, nice good portion of salt so one teaspoon of salt and also a teaspoon of um, turmeric powder and one of my favorite things to add is because I've got some um, rose harissa left so I'm going to add this and uh, so I'm going to add a heaped uh, two heaped teaspoons of rose harissa this is going to add so much flavor um, to the dish and with the cumin it is going to be absolutely amazing right time to mix it up oh god awesome right just a hundred ml of water because we have to still cook the potatoes mix it up and Um, cover and cook this for um, um, on low heat for at least 20 minutes so that the tomatoes are cooked the potatoes are cooked and the flavors have all mixed in so I'm lowering the heat and 20 minutes time has gone off it's been 20 minutes today I'm not going to burn my hand <laughs> I'm being a bit more careful. Right, look at this. Wow, just look at this. Oh my goodness, it smells so amazing. Now, we'll just see if our potatoes are... Oh, perfect, perfect. Um, So this is not done yet because I am going to now break in some eggs and cook them. And before I add the eggs, I'm just going to add half a teaspoon of sugar because there is a lot of tomatoes and peppers. You obviously don't have to, you can skip it. Right, so the sugar does help the flavor. So it's not much, it's only half a teaspoon. I'm going to make some spaces here and in those spaces I'm going to break some eggs um, now cover and cook this on the same low heat I haven't increased the heat uh, from when the peppers and onions were cooking so I'm going to keep the heat low and cook this for six uh, or seven minutes. I don't. I still want the eggs runny. I don't want them to completely cook. So I'm going to keep a close eye. Again, let's go. Okay, it's a seven minute timer has gone off. And obviously, by seven minutes, I meant six minutes. <laughs> still one. Wow, and I think it's awesome and it's done because the egg whites are cooked but the yolk is still looking runny. Time to serve! Right, it's time to plate up. Look at that stunning. Um, and I'm serving this with some sourdough. Uh, you can obviously enjoy it with any bread. Uh, <laughs> of course, I'm going to finish it with some chili flakes because always chili is good. Dip in and enjoy the egg. I've got the egg. Get some um, 
It's heavenly. Absolutely amazingly delicious. Oh, oh my god. Mm. Mm. Right, Yiv, is that nice? Is it very, very nice? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Yeah? Good? Happy with that? Hope you guys are going to give this a go. Give us a thumbs up. It is really easy as you can see. It's using a lot of stuff which I am sure that many of you will have at home right now. Um, so hope you enjoy. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you back here for a brand new with a brand new recipe tomorrow. Oh, that's my bread done. I'm going to get more bread and enjoy this.